Hello everybody! It's Ahmed Il Khali talking to you from South America. Today our episode is a little bit different since we're gonna focus more on the Egyptian English pronunciation in a funny way. When I say funny, that doesn't mean that I'm trying to make fun of the Egyptian English pronunciation. Of course not! Otherwise I'd be making fun of myself because I'm Egyptian. I'm just aspiring to fix all the pronunciation mistakes we have so that we sound natural and confident when we speak English. So let's get started! Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you that the most important thing in learning languages is communication. So, if you speak English and you're confident while talking, then you don't have to be worried or rushed. Believe you me, when native speakers talk to you, they only focus on communication and meaning. Not perfect grammar, not excellent pronunciation, they only focus on the meaning whether they understand you or not. The only people who pay a lot of attention to every single word you say are us. Egyptians among each other. What I mean is, when you speak English with someone who is from Egypt, they only focus on your mistakes. But this is not how it really works with native speakers who only try to understand what you want to say. So trust me, Forget about those who underestimate your English or say you have too many mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm making a lot of mistakes while talking right now and I don't care as long as you understand me. So now the question is, why are we gonna try to improve our pronunciation right now if correct pronunciation is not important? Then wait. There has been a misunderstanding. You can speak English while making mistakes and you might be understood, but correct pronunciation helps people to understand you faster, clearer, and easier. So, this episode for those who want to get rid of the Egyptian pronunciation. Now I'm gonna say some specific sentences, but here's the funny thing. I'll try to include all the mistakes that exist when some Egyptians speak English. And Patrick from the United States is going to repeat all the sentences again in the correct pronunciation. Remember, again, we're not trying to make fun of ourselves. We're just trying to improve our English pronunciation more and more. Let's do it! Don't eat unhealthy food because it's bad for you. I don't know why people don't like to do sports. For me, doing outdoor activities help me a lot. Ah, I want to tell you something very important. Yesterday, I visited my old school and I met a businessman there. Help me! Help me! Nigga. Eat unhealthy food because it's bad for you. I don't know why people don't like to do sport. For me, Doing outdoor activities helped me. Ah, I want to tell you something very important. Yesterday I visited my old school and I met a businessman there. I'm not only gonna correct the previous sentence's pronunciation, but I will also give you general tips on how to improve your pronunciation. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Egyptian pronunciation mistakes can be summed up five points. Let's start with the first point. Don't. Don't. Well, I am not gonna explain why we make these mistakes technically and explain about the vowels and consonants, these complicated things. I am not gonna do this. I am just gonna point out the mistake for you and teach you how to pronounce the word correctly. And of course, in some other classes, I'm gonna teach you everything in detail. Okay, don't. Well, to cut to the chase, we don't pronounce the T at the end of the words. We never say 
I don't know, we say, I don't know. We never say, I don't eat, we say, I don't eat. Okay? We never say, she doesn't know or she doesn't eat, we say, she doesn't know, she doesn't eat. The second point, when we say words that ends with ing, we don't pronounce the last letter, the letter G. And believe me, this is a very obvious mistake for us Egyptians. You always hear in Egypt, I am going. She likes eating. Long journey. Okay, so long journey? No, long journey. She likes eating. No, she likes eating. Okay, I am going. No, I am going. So, words that ends with I and G, don't pronounce the G. The third point is about the letters P and B. In our native language, which is Arabic, we don't have the sound P. We only have the sound B. That's why it's so difficult for native Arabic speakers to pronounce the sound P accurately. However, it's vital to do so. And if you want to know uh, uh, why it's important to differentiate between the P and the B, just look at this example, okay? Pray and pray. To pray means to, uh, to speak to God, Allah, to speak to God. While bray means to sound like a donkey. So, <laughs> oh, no, just no, look no. at this example and imagine that if someone wants to pray, to pray to Allah, and they say, I want to bray, of course, they, just, they, they don't want to bray like a donkey. They just want to pray to Allah, okay? So, please, Pay close attention to the, the, the letters P and B, okay? Again, P, B. The fourth point which Egyptian people, my people should learn today is pronouncing the TH, the TH. Just let your tongue go up and touch your upper teeth slightly, like, thank you, that. There, the cat, therapy, again, thank you, that, there, the cat, therapy. One more and the last mistake that some Egyptians make while speaking English is compound nouns. A compound noun is two individual words that carry one meaning. So, which, which one do you think is correct? A businessman or a businessman? A credit card or a credit card? A boyfriend or a boyfriend? A boyfriend. So, where do you think the stress is? On the first word or on the second word? Very good! Of course, it's on the first word. So. A business, uh, a businessman, a credit card, a boyfriend, okay, not a businessman, a boyfriend, a credit card. Now we're gonna say the sentences again correctly. You need to pause the video and practice them out loud. Bear in mind all the tips that you've learned today. Okay? Ready? Yeah! Don't eat unhealthy food because it's bad for you. I don't know why some people don't like to do sport. For me, doing outdoor activities help me. Ah, I want to tell you something very important. Yesterday I visited my old school and I met a businessman there. Okay, now pause the video and it's your turn. That's the end of our video today. We're gonna make lots of videos about English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Arabic.
So if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it right now and share our videos in order to help others. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.